from the book of Isaiah. A voice cries in the wilderness, prepare the way of the Lord. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be lifted up, and every mountain and hill shall be made low. The uneven ground shall become level, and the rough places a plain. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together, for the mouth of the Lord has spoken. Long ago, God sent a promise to the people of Judea that one day a Savior would come to lead them out of slavery and into a new land where peace and freedom would reign. That promise was given by God to the prophets, and they delivered the good news to the people. Hold on to hope, they were told. Be strong in your faith, they heard, and all shall come to pass.
from the book of Luke. And it came to pass in those days, there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. Joseph went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Joseph traveled with his wife, Mary, to Bethlehem. Mary was pregnant with the baby Jesus. And so it was, while they were there, she gave birth to her first child. She wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger, because there was no room at the inn. In the same country there were shepherds out in the fields, watching over their sheep. The angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. They were very afraid. The angel said to them, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Unto you is born in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. This shall be a sign unto you. You will find the baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly there were angels in the heavens praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, peace and good will to all.
from the book of Matthew. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? We have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. The star, which they saw in the east, went before them, till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary his mother, and they worshipped him. And they presented to him gifts, gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Someone said that if there had been wise women, they would have changed the baby's diaper, fixed formula, and cleaned the stable. That idea is humorous, but totally misses the point. The wise men were not bringing gifts to a baby. They were recognizing that this baby was the Christ, the Savior of the world. Gold was for a king, frankincense for a divine being, and myrrh used for preparing a body for burial, predicted Christ's sacrifice for us all. What can we bring to the Christ child? Our learning, accomplishments, corporations, money, fame, or should we come as little children and bring the only thing we have, our hearts.
I'd just like to thank this opportunity to welcome you to our cantata and also say some thank yous to our narrators, Lorna and Doug. That's so easy. No matter who is up there, I can say Doug. <laughs> and we have an extra added treat. We have, uh, of course, we had Erin. I'd like to thank her. And also, we have Byron. You can't see him. He's on the drums way in the back there. But we're really happy to have him. And you're, you're really going to hear him on the last number that we're doing. And our sound people, we have Greg and Rick and Alameda. William. I get the W's mixed up. We'd like to thank them and also say, thank Rick for our uh, pictures and things up there because it always adds, adds to it. Oh, and our company, sorry. How can I forget her? Say hi. She's been with us several years, and she's working on her doctorate at the University of Maryland. One of these years, she'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> and our signer, I can't, Maryland, yeah. I always, uh, I don't understand how she does that, but that way everybody knows what we're doing. Zacharias and Elizabeth learned they would be parents after many years. Their son John would be a prophet for Christ. Zacharias questioned this. Mary learned that she would be the mother of Christ. She was very concerned. Even after Jesus was born, she wondered what this meant. The shepherds were afraid. The wise men did not go back to Herod as he asked, but left Bethlehem by a different way. These good people did not immediately embrace the idea of the birth of Christ, even though they had been taught to pray for and look for the coming of the Savior. In 1863, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow wrote, I heard the bells on Christmas Day. The country was experiencing the Civil War. His son had been wounded in the fighting and two years earlier, his wife had been killed in a fire. He was like many of us. We approach Christmas with illness, the loss of a loved one, worry over a family member. But Longfellow's faith taught him that God loved him and would sustain him in all troubles. God is not dead, nor does he sleep. The wrong shall fail. The right will prevail. With peace on earth and goodwill to everyone.
from the book of Isaiah. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. O that that tellest good tidings to Zion, say unto the cities of Judea, Behold your God, for unto us a son is born, and the government shall be upon his shoulders, and he shall be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Christmas promises hope, love, and salvation. This little baby, every day and always, brings us peace and joy. No matter what happens in our life, we know we can go to the manger for forgiveness, strength, and redemption. Jesus is a wonderful child. 